this is the last remaining Angazi habitat that we know of that's relatively undisturbed. As a marine biologist, it's a dream to be involved in something like this where you're, you're recovering an ecosystem. You know it was there. Uh, what makes it even better is you actually have this still existing so that you can compare the work that you're doing to and you know when you reach success because you've got a benchmark to measure everything against. The oyster reef was as far as your eye could see. You'd be there, you'd be hovering about a metre above the surface and it's, it's, it's expansive, it's flat, but once you get down and into the detail, it, it's actually quite deep in some areas. So there's obviously decades, potentially hundreds of years of oysters growing on top of oysters, forming this oyster reef. I think compared to some of those other charismatic ecosystems, you've got your colourful coral reef, you've got your giant kelp forests, it's the colour and the structure that you see there. Many people who would see video of a shellfish reef would be like, well, looks like the sea floor. But then you look closer and it's all these oysters that are filtering. It's this living, almost like this living organism where all these all these marine creatures of the same species have come together and decided to live in this one place. They're creating these ecosystem services that benefit everybody and benefit themselves. This is what we want our native flat oyster reefs to recover and to look like. To be able to dive it, to touch it and feel it and to see the species living and breathing on this reef was truly special. <laughs>